drop-ins. One of the scariest tricks for a beginner, but it's okay. I'm here to break it down for you and also give you some tips in getting to drop in on the coping and down into the big ramps. Alright? Alright, let's get started. So, I've got my mini handboard here just so I can visually show you how to do it. I've also got footage of me doing it at Henley Skate Park. So, we're going to go through it and we're going to break down on what you can do to build your weight up and your confidence. Alright, so first thing you're going to do is actually be on the flat of the ground. So you've got to have your board nice and set up and then what you're going to do is going to put your back foot all the way down onto the ground and that way your board is not going to leave, it's not going to go anywhere because your foot is stuck onto the ground, your tail is stuck onto the ground so you physically can't move it anywhere until you put your front foot all the way down. So that's going to be really good practice for when you go on top of the ramp and putting on the coping. So practice just getting that movement of putting your tail down and then placing it back on the floor with four wheels. And once you've got comfortable with that, try and do it a lot harder so then when you store your tail, you lean all your weight forward, slamming those front trucks. And you've got to really hear the slam on those front trucks because that's going to be important for when you drop in on the big ramps. Now a good practice step to actually do on the ramps is simply doing it on a slope or on a uh, smallish ramp. So it's not a curved one, but just nice and straight like a bank. So what you want to do is take it step by step, do it from the smallest point, doing it from the beginning of the ramp, just at the bottom, and then doing the maneuver. So you can stall your tail, and if you've got your foot nice and firmly on the tail, you won't move until again, you slam those front trucks. And then when you're comfortable doing that and you're rolling away, you can go a little bit higher, a little bit higher, until you feel comfortable enough that you can do it all the way at the top and then roll away with that speed. Now you know how to drop in on a, on a bank or a small ramp. Now to do it on an actual quarter pipe. This is the big deal. So pay attention because these are important key steps. Like we mentioned before, stalling that tail on the ground. So you want to have, so you want your back trucks to go over the coping, but your tail just on the surface, on the top, so that your foot is on the flat and your trucks are ready to roll in onto the quarter pipe. And so long as your back foot is on that tail, that board's not going to move anywhere. So you'll be safe and you'll be Gucci. And when you're ready to drop in, you can have your foot just hovering over the front of your trucks. And it's very important that when you have your foot, front foot on top of your board, that it is on the four screws of your board. You have to have it over there because that's going to be on top of your front trucks. That's where you're going to get the most control out of your turning and when you're rolling away. And you need it nice and straight and nice and firm. So when you do slam down, have your foot on those front trucks and slam down as hard as you can. And the last but most important tip, and probably the most important tip with all of this, is to lean forward. So when you're doing it on flat, you're stalling your tail, you lean forward when dropping in. When you're doing it on a bank or on a small ramp, stall your tail, slam your trucks, leaning forward. Yeah, because all that motion, all that movement is going towards down the ramp. So you have to drop all your weight into the ramp and that way you'll be able to roll away nice and smoothly. Now I will say this is going to take a lot of time for you to do this trick and also a lot of courage because it's a very difficult trick just to do it off the bat. If you can, brilliant. You have no fear whatsoever. But for those that are scared of falling over, the best thing to do is literally go step one, flat. Step two, on a bank or on a small ramp. And then step three, the final step, do it on a quarter pipe. And it doesn't have to be a big one, just one that's small enough, but has that nice curvature so you can shoot off. Well, I hope you learned something today. Don't click out of the video just yet because there's a few tricks that I've done at the end of the video. So if you want to be inspired by these sort of tricks, uh, these are some tricks you can challenge yourself once you've dropped it. But 
Thank you very much for watching. I make videos of skateboarding, handboarding, and all goofy stuff. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, like this video, and share with your friends. Because if they are scared at dropping in, this might be a good video for them to learn. Okay? Alright. That's all the time I have. I'm going to go out and skate. Because I can, and I want to. And I might actually do a few uh, quarter pipe tricks. So I'll see you in the next one.